There's a place called Kentucky Where all good things come from They put it in barrels, gets better with age And you might wanna sip you some For years men have searched all the hand-me-down land For Mother Nature's best Longhorn, velvet, breathtaking beauty Thank God we're among the blessed Got the bug bourbon on the ground the draw them back, let them fly Oh, son, thank you. <laughs> you got it. Oh. You got to be the first to put hands on him. Go on! Yeah. I like sitting about 22. Um, yeah, I'll check the one I will. in the corner, the camera in the bin. Where but if he's got his head down, down he's got to looking back through some of the pictures okay. today. This is actually some of the deer that Colton's going to be hunting. That's one of the tens. There's three tens there that are, they like step down. <laughs> like each one's I'll, about five uh, inches smaller than the other one. Dude, this one just. This is the first night. It's the moment we've been waiting for. We have seen some great bucks on camera. I, I don't like looking at all of them because I, I think it gets in my head of like how big they actually are here in Kentucky and, you know. These deer have been eating that buck bourbon. George, it's like he knows what he's doing or something. Uh, so there's there's some still in velvet. Um, the competition for me, um, it, my brother thinks it's him, but really I'm not super worried about him. It's like competition for me is myself, you know. And I'm really not out here to get the biggest buck. Um, there's so many great, beautiful bucks on camera that. If any of them walked out, I'd be super grateful and blessed. Um, but in the back of my mind, you know, I want to literally crush my brother's hopes and dreams of, you know, shooting a bigger deer than me. And then, it's how great of a shot. Like, I think one thing we're learning when, when it comes to bow hunting is it's all about the shot, man. Like, you want it to be quick and easy for that deer and respect that animal and, um, and luckily we're shooting bows that, you know, they're tuned up, ready to go. This Matthews uh, V3, like, I'm, I'm pretty excited to be shooting this thing today. Uh, if I can do it in front of all the hunters that have just slayed so many deer, I think I can do it in the stand by myself, but I don't know, like, we'll see. Man, what a night. Okay, so uh, we hit a little rain. We uh, had some winds. Then we had no wind. 
then we had bad wind um it was and i'm learning how important wind is especially for bow hunting uh, but bottom line is we saw bucks all around we saw doe i think we saw maybe i think we have uh, at least on camera four doe we saw some off too but um man they were uh they definitely knew we were there tonight and just wasn't our night as far as the weather goes but tomorrow's a new date we're gonna nail one tomorrow Dude, look at these, man. It's changed my voice. I'm gonna have to bring it down. <laughs> uh, Colton is going to Deep Creek with Austin. It's day two, night two, uh, here at Salt River Outfitters. Uh, we, we're switching stands, a stand I've never been in. Um, it's, it's got some good deer on camera, uh, probably deer that are gonna scare the crap out of me when I see them walk up. And hopefully, I mean, the wind's changed, so hopefully we're in the right spot tonight. George is pretty good at putting me in the right spot, putting everybody else and uh, where they need to be. Ah, uh, man, I cannot wait. All right, it was a it was really awesome night. I mean, we saw some great deer. No shooters tonight for us, but I hear that my brother has shot. So, man, I I really I'm really happy for him. But one, a couple of things. I hope it's not as big as my deer last year. And then two, um, I just I really pray by the end of this hunt, I still can best get the best of the best of this hunt, you know? Um, Cause I, I just don't want to hear this until I'm 80 years old. Hey! Hey! Congrats. Call Kelly Kapowski. <laughs> Tell her she got a new boyfriend named Schwack Morris. <laughs> 
Oh my word, that's that's a pretty deer. And, and my longest shot to date. Dude, how far was it? 45 yards. You're kidding me. When he called George, he said, Bro. I, shot a, I, I shot a giant. But there's this thing. Dang. But there's this thing. Dude, I love you. Thank you. That is freaking Dude, that's awesome, awesome, dude. That's a fine deer. All right, it has uh, been a long night, could not sleep, but uh, last night 
uh, we look back at the shot it didn't look like uh, the best shot so I'm learning and George told me he's like hey we should back out so that's what we did so it's finally here we're going to look for this what we think is a 10 point oh Langley he's blessing the swans this this trip tell you that I don't know Jack probably ain't gonna like this <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, brother. Oh, son, thank you. <laughs> you got it. Oh. You got to be the first to put hands on him. Come on! Oh, yes. Look at that. Son. That's a good deer. Dude, that's a great deer. Oh, man. You can see this velvet hanging off. Dude, look at that. You got a little kicker. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, so we made the right decision. Uh, when in doubt, you back out. That's what I'm learning. Uh, the shot wasn't at near as bad as I thought, like, uh, but it's still, when you, I guess when you're not so sure, you gotta back out. We found about 70 yards out here in the woods. Um, Scott Langley uh, found him for me. Uh, he's blessing the swans this week, uh, but Man, uh, this is so cool. He's got velvet hanging off of him still. He's a beautiful deer. He's got 11 points. He's got this cool little kicker here. Um, man, he was coming into that buck bourbon. Uh, like, it, it's crazy how these deer react to that stuff. It's just, uh, I got a lot to learn. Um, this is my third deer with a bow. And I, I, I tell you, this is, this is crazy, crazy what uh, these deer are on this Kentucky farm and what this buck bourbon how it's growing these deer and how they react. Uh, George, you must know what you're doing, man. Uh, I don't care what you look like, you're a pretty smart fella. So, <laughs> uh, I think he is bigger than my brothers. I, I hate to do this to him and I'm so glad he got him the deer, but I'm so glad that uh, this 11 pointer, well, it's a little bit bigger, bro. I'm sorry, but not sorry. <laughs> Can't wait to be back next year at Salt River Outfitters. Uh, watching these deer eat this buck bourbon. Let's go.